Deep in the Australian outback, one man uncovers the worst monster in the world. Fucking hell, look at all this fucking shit. Oh, hello there. Didn't quite see you here. General Australian here, and we are uncovering the most vicious creature in all the internet. It's a vile creature. It's disgusting. It's known as the Twitter Wrestling Fan, mate. Fucking worst, mate. Look, I was in this basement dwelling bastard's fucking house. This cunt's got a fucking fake belt. What, you got a fake belt on that, you useless cunt? Anyway, he's got a fucking belt in here, mate. And guess what? He's got about ten fucking fake Twitter accounts, mate. Fucking crazy, mate. Anyway, I'm gonna go in. Wish me luck here, mate. Wish me fucking luck, mate. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, he's fucking pants are in my Oh, God, Sheila. Fucking help me, you fucking cunt. Oh, God. that new day round, everyone said, Jerry, do it now, do it now, do the rant now. So I'm doing it now. Um, I have decided to do this and I have put this video off for a long time because, you know, a lot of you remember back in the day, I, I was very anti-offending people, but now I'm just offending everyone left, right and center. So while I'm at it, I might as well piss off the wrestling fans right now. Um, specifically the Twitter fans, but I'm going to get to other fans um, as well. Um, so this is going to break down in many parts. We're going to be getting right into it. The reason being is because it's not just the Twitter fans that I have a problem with. It's other fans as well. So there's many different things across the board and stuff like that. And I know um, Australian General was saying something about some idiot having a fake title. I mean, who, who... Who would have a fake title? Like, I just don't know who... Who... Um... Uh, that that was only there for e -Fed is Raw. Uh, it was only there for e, e -Fed is Raw. I promise. Number one. WWE Twitter fans. These people are the worst of the worst. They are the worst. Me and WJ even had this conversation where we thought that the YouTube comments were bad. But no. But no. Somebody had to overdo the YouTube comments and that is the WWE Twitter fans. In case anyone doesn't know, Twitter is filled with the following. A. Trolls that like to give death threats. B. People that want to get with WWE superstars. C. Stupid fan girl girls that want to lick Seth Rollins' arsehole. And four. Absolute inbred morons that will literally retweet other wrestlers so that they can get mentioned to push products that they have on their Twitter. You have heard me say this before and you've heard me say this again. And I will say this just like I did in the New Day video. Shame on you people, especially the people at the end because the other people are fans, but don't worry, they're, they're for criticism, which I'll get to in a second. But these idiots that have companies that will market their channels and what they'll do is they'll have like their product on the, the Twitter profile, right? So what they'll do is, is that they'll retweet Ric Flair or, or, or JR and they'll say, Hey JR, love your product, haha, -ha, really, really enjoy it, haha, -ha, even though they haven't seen WWE in their lives before. So whenever a wrestler retweets them or mentions them, they say, Hey uh, folks, do you like WWE? Well, we got a product right here. Why don't you buy this here? It's great, it's great, it's affordable, everybody loves it, haha. -ha. 
And these people are all over fucking Twitter. They're plagued with it. They are the worst. If you want me to get even more detail, go to the New Day rant video. But these people are the worst. They are the worst of the worst. Let's get into the first part, which is idiots that give death threats to people on Twitter. Yes, in case anyone doesn't know, a absolute moron threatened Goldberg on Twitter, telling him to go kill himself, and blah blah blah, saying he should die, and blah blah blah. Now here's the thing, a lot of people criticize me for my criticism of professional wrestling, and they say, all you do is complain about wrestling, and my, my estimate is this, is that, you know, um, yes, I can criticize WWE, but I have a right to because saying that I can't criticize WWE is the very reason saying that somebody can't criticize Batman versus Superman. They're both media outlets. They're open to criticism. And that's another thing problem with the professional wrestling fan is that they can criticize the product, but they give really good criticism. But yet a guy like me that jokes and does like an Australian outback under my bed like a complete and utter idiot isn't allowed to. That's another problem. But these idiots that will give death threats to wrestlers, they'll say, you should go out with me, Bailey, or I'm gonna kill you. There's like these complete and utter idiots that are on Twitter that are plagued with it and stuff like that. Let's get into the next one. Number two, WWE Twitter fangirls. Now, you all think, oh, that's an insult into the male demographic. You're calling them fangirls, Jerry. You're just calling them fangirls. No, I mean literal fangirls. I'm talking Justin Bieber level fangirls. I'm talking One Direction. Who, I'm talking them fangirls. Because in case anyone doesn't know, since the rise of Seth Rollins and Finn Balor and all the rest, and I, by the way, I want to make this very perfectly clear. I enjoy women watching wrestling and blah blah blah, okay? It's not even an issue at all, like people saying, oh, women should watch wrestling and stuff like that. Obviously, they have a right to. But there are some women in the professional wrestling um, Twitters right now that are fangirling. And the worst thing is, is that they are the worst to kind of try and talk to. Because whenever you criticize, for example, let's just say... I'll give an example. Let's just say I say something about Seth Rollins and I say, hey, you know, maybe that match wasn't great or something. You know, constructive criticism. You know what? I'm not acting like General Jerry. You know, a little bit of, you know, uh, maybe it wasn't so good, you know. Then you have a fangirl going, okay, bitch, I'm gonna fucking hit you. Oh, you dummy fucking dick. How fucking dare you fucking attack my Seth Rollins. How fucking dare you. Oh, that's the, like, and you're like, whoa, whoa, hang on, bitch, whoa, bitch, get out the way. Like, it's like, it's like that. And the wet, like, dude, some of these fangirls are the worst. Me and WJ were literally, me and him were so, like, I, this was like a few months ago or something. Me and WJ were bored when we were on Twitter and stuff. And we literally seen just a plague of these fucking idiots going, oh, Randy, oh, I really want to see your package. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, dude, there was apparently, and this was actually back in like 2012, 2011, some woman actually made, it, this is some creepy ass shit. See, a lot of people say men are creepy. I think women are worse than men. I've seen, listen, you've seen a hand, dude, that women can fucking party and they are off the fucking reels whenever they're at a party, okay? It's crazy. A lot of men will agree. A lot of men will go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. By the way, it's a compliment to women, by the way, because, you know, like, women, you know, and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, right? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but here's the thing. You see a lot, like, there was this, there was this woman, for example, who made a, it was actually taken down, but she actually made this WWE fantasy Twitter account, and, um, someone pointed out to me, saying, Jerry, have you seen this? I'm like, this can't be real, this can't be real, I shit you not, this is, this is what, it was like, practically saying, the Undertaker walks in the locker room, and he sees Seamus, and he gets his cock out. He starts fucking him in the. I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? 
I do not want to hear this. I do not want to hear the dead man rising, okay? I do not want to see this. But apparently this fan girl was loving it, and she had, like, made it all these fantasy stuff. I'm like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus, okay? Y'all need Jesus. This is just fucking crazy. Anyway, I've talked enough about WWE fucking fan girls on Twitter. At the end of the day... Even if you have an opinion, they are going to fangirl all, all over some of these wrestlers like they're Justin Bieber. You know, Finn Balor is a perfect example. Um, Somebody was writing about Finn Balor saying that he wasn't, like, they didn't like him or whatever and stuff like that. And a fangirl looks around, fuck you, bitch! I'm going to fucking kill you, you fucking bitch! I'm gonna fa-. Like, they just go crazy. They're fucking mental. Like, I, like honestly, I've seen some hardcore YWC people ca- aren't even going as crazy as these people. Okay, I know a lot of people say that YWC is mentally deranged, and it is, but like, it, the thing is, is that like a lot of the, the people that are on Twitter and stuff like that, a lot of these fan girls are fucking crazy, man. Anyway, let's go on to the next topic. Number three, pro WWE fans. Yes, since the brand split, they... What the... I wasn't wearing this fucking a while ago. The bloody hell happened? I need to lay off that for a second. I'm transporting somewhere. Anyway, sorry about that, folks. But pro WWE fans have um, become a thing now um, since the uh, brand split. Um, since the brand split, these are the types of people that will literally put um, a scorecard on Raw and SmackDown. And yes, there are people that like SmackDown, and I understand that, right? But there's a difference between being pro SmackDown and being a complete and utter idiot. When something's bad, you gotta say it's bad. And unfortunately, these pro WWE fans are just as bad as some of these pro TNA fans. Because I know I always say a lot about these TNA fans, but there are TNA fans that will accept that something's wrong with it. And I actually, I, I, listen, I praise those people, right? And it's the same as when you have these militant TNA fans that will defend it all the time. Since the brand split now, we have pro WWE fans that will literally defend everything that WWE does. Which is ridiculous to me. Because a lot of people, people accuse me of being a pro WWE fan. But the difference is between these pro WWE fans and myself is that when something's bad with WWE, I'll call it out. I'm straight down the middle, people. That's just my perspective on it. Um... These are the people that say, well, you just need to wait and see what happens, you know, um, you never know, we might, uh, we might get a good storyline with Jinder Mahal, you never know, like, these people are, are the worst, and, uh, to be honest, this age demographic are teenagers, these are people that only watch halfway through the PG era and think that they're absolute professionals in covering, um, professional wrestling, now, now, here's the thing, though, the difference is, is that, I, 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 here's the thing, if you literally, um, are a teenager that's w- watched, maybe, uh, watched WWE recently, that's fine, I don't have a, I, I have nothing against that, right? But when something's bad, you gotta admit, something's bad, and a lot of these pro WWE fans will defend WWE all the goddamn time. Um, this is even a subcategory to the fans that are on Twitter, they'll defend them on Twitter, they'll defend them on this, they'll defend them on that, and it's just ridiculous to me, for example, like, let's just say, Let's just say I say, you know what, the storyline with Dolph Ziggler isn't great, let's be honest, alright? And, you know, I just use him as example, right? These pro WWE fans will turn around and say, you gotta wait and see what happens. You gotta be positive. You gotta be positive. You see, and I will say this, at least with these kind of militant TNA fans, and they're a bunch of psychopaths, that's, I think we can all agree on that. The thing is with these militant TNA fans is that at least they'll have an argument with you, right? At least they'll debate as to what's gonna happen. The pro WWE fans, however, it's kind of like left versus right wing. I'm not gonna get into politics. Anyway, but, but these kind of pro WWE fans say, well, you can't rant on professional wrestling. That's not nice. You you can't rant on that. You gotta be positive, Jerry. Whoa, well, what? Why are you being so negative for? You, you gotta be positive. And that's the problem with these pro WWE fans is that they they're very they're uh, they're they're up, uh, optimistic is the word. 
Um, I call stupid, but th th they're optimistic. They feel as if we have to wait and see what happens. We have to wait and see what happens. And then once the storyline turns out to be a lot of crap, like I already told people, then they're like, well, we'll just wait and see what the next story is. Um, you never know. It might be good. Um, things might be good with that. Um, you never know. And it's just not. It's just terrible. And, you know, these uh, uh, the, uh, both the, the militant TNA fans and the pro WWE fans are just just as bad they're fucking terrible um defending this crap constantly and stuff like that and they're exactly what's wrong with, with, with it um these are the types of people that that watched it recently and somehow think that that, that you know certain wrestlers in today's era are the are better than the attitude era and stuff like that it's 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 crazy to me um since this and also now these pro ww fans have this thing now where they're saying oh you're a raw fan are you oh i don't like you we're a smackdown fan yeah smackdown fan and i'm like um isn't ron smackdown like the same show like it's under the same company no 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 we're we're, we're rebelling against people Smackdown's for rebels. Um, it's the same company. No, 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 no. Smackdown's rebels. We, we rebel against the authority. How can you be... You're a part of the authority. You're a part of the, the status quo. You're a part of the people that are... That are that, that want to ruin wrestling. And so I'm like, yeah, but like... But, but Raw and Smackdown are the same company. They're, they're the same company. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say here. No, no, no. You, you just, you, you're just a corporate shiv. That's what you are. And I'm like, wait, what? This isn't socialist or nationalist or whatever it is. Like, it's uh, no, no, no. You're, you're a, you're, you're a, you're, you're this and you're that. And that's what these people do is that they, they somehow seem to think that you can't say anything wrong with WWE. And we've seen it a lot since this brand split. And they're just the worst. They're the worst to deal with because. You know, when something's crap, something's crap, and I'll just call it out on it. Number four, they take things too serious. This is one of, another reason why I made this video, is that WWE fans have a habit of taking things too serious. Um, for example, um, let's just say you're joking around and you're saying, oh, I like Roman Reigns or like I mean you can I personally like Roman I don't really see an issue with him and stuff like that although I can see why some people might not like him but like let's just say I'm joking around saying Roman Reigns is the best ever you know when I'm like joking and stuff like that WWE fans and I think it's literally there are a few fan bases but WWE fans especially can't detect sarcasm um, not WWE should I say I say wrestling fans wrestling fans do not take sarcasm well um they think that you're that everything that you say you really mean and they're very serious in that way where you know for example these rant series that i've been doing recently where i'm taking the piss out of the young bucks and all these wrestlers and stuff and there has been fans that have said oh you know what i really like the young bucks but the, you know this is really funny and stuff like that but with these guys, um, there are some people that take things way too serious. Um, and that's another problem that I think a lot of people can't take the wrestling fan be as serious. Is because A, you know, you're, rev you're reviewing almost a, a, a sport that nobody gives a crap about. And second, when you take the piss out of it and you joke about it and you make jokes, people get so goddamn serious. Like the Smart Busters make some jokes and people get absolutely serious over them. For no reason, like, the Smart Busters are only joking and stuff like that. They're only just having a good time. Same as Wrestling Jesus. Wrestling Jesus jokes around and has a good time. But people, like, get so heated against it. They're like, oh, how could you say that? I'm, I'm so hard. Like, stop taking life so serious. You know, we're literally reviewing people in their underpants in a ring. You know what I mean? Like, stop taking shit so serious. Like, please, please stop taking it so serious. You know, there's people, like, I see other communities, like a Coventry community, and, the, and like, all these other communities that, like, make jokes, and everyone's like, oh, that's funny, like, that's hilarious, but, like, with the wrestling fans, you can't really joke around them, because they're all very, very serious, they're all like, I can't believe you said that, <gasps> I'm so offended, you know, just wise up to yourselves and get a sense of humour, for God's sake. Number five, hardcore TNA fans. Yes, TNA hardcore fans. <laughs> yes, 
Yes. See, god damn it, I transported again. Anyway, TNA hardcore fans, uh, listen, I was pondering whether to put them in here, but to be honest, I kind of have to. I'm sorry, but some TNA fans are either... I don't know what... Listen, if you're a fan of TNA, I understand, but these types of hardcore fans that will literally go on all WWE forums and all WWE shows and say, It sucked! It sucked! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! And I'm like, well, um, and then they said, it was stupid. And then if you go up to them and you say, well, I think you watched it. Oh, no, I don't watch WWE. I, I, I don't watch that. I, I don't watch that. That's, that's t TNA is just, t I, I exclusively watch TNA. Stop lying to yourself. Stop, stop. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Don't lie. Don't lie, okay? You watch WWE. Anyone that watches TNA watches WWE as well, okay? And TNA, unfortunately, you know, I honestly thought it was going to improve when the Hardy Boys were there. They've now debuted um, on WWE, and that was the last shot, in my opinion. Now, I'm sure they might improve, and listen, if TNA does do good stuff in the future, I'll praise it. But for the love of God, stop being in everyone's faces and say, TNA's the best! TNA's the best! Like you're shoving your own kind of agenda on people and stuff like it's fact it's not okay there's many things that's wrong with wwe and there's many things that's wrong with tna and, and and listen being a wrestling fan is to say what is crap and what is not and tna is just you know not everything is bad in tna but to, to say that tna is the absolute best is just stupid okay please wise up to yourselves and also for these tna fans to turn around and say oh uh i don't care you care because if you say that you don't care about about what's going on in wwe then why are you commenting on a wwe forum talking about it you see, because here's the thing. There's plenty of things that I don't like in WWE, right? There's plenty of things I don't like, but I don't go on these forums and say that's stupid all day long. Because, you know, I have a life. In fact, there's I don't even talk about that much about WWE in real life. I'm usually watching, you know, other YouTubers. I don't even watch that many YWC videos anymore, to be honest with you. But TNA fans, every single week of every single moment, they have to push this TNA agenda that it's the best. Also, when a news story comes out, they're incredibly biased. I have seen some, no offense, but some TNA pro to TNA YouTubers that are completely biased when it comes to TNA news. Um, one example being, you know, the whole Matt Hardy thing. And a lot of people were saying, fuck Matt Hardy and fuck Jeff, when a few weeks ago they were praising them, saying how great they are. But as soon as a wrestler leaves TNA, they start bashing them. The same thing happened to Samoa Joe. I remember doing a video saying, guys, i just let you know, Samoa Joe's going to be on NXT. And I got a lot of crap for it. I got crap when, when uh, Samoa Joe and AJ Styles and Austin Aries, I said... A year before they even debuted, two years before they even debuted, I said they're going to be in NXT, mark my words. And I got a lot of crap for it, I got people making videos about me, bashing me and stuff like that. And, and guess what, they ended up being in NXT, and I ended up calling it. But a lot of these people were like, oh, fuck him, fuck him, boom, 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 boom. They're crazy. They're complete and utter mental cases. And I just want to clarify, this is specifically for a TNA hardcore fan, not um, a, a, um, a, just a, like a TNA fan in general that is, per and there's actually some decent TNA fans out there that will say, oh, do you know what, that wasn't the best. You know what? That wasn't great and stuff like that. And I think that's that's awesome. I, I always say this. There is actually some TNA fans that will actually not be all weird and crazy and stuff. And there are some people that prefer TNA than WWE. I, I can... Listen, that's up to you. Okay? That's up to you. But whenever you're, you, you're just constantly going on these WWE forums, pushing your agenda, trying to bash people to try and, and, and push your shit together. Listen... Uh, let's face the facts, TNA doesn't get that much viewership that much now, especially since the Matt Hardy things have left. Could they improve? They're, I'm not ruling it out, but to kind of push your agenda and to push your morality and to bash fans that are on forums and stuff, it's just ridiculous. And I'm all for taking the piss out of people. Listen, that's why I'm here. But 
when you do it in a way that it just sounds desperate, that's when it gets ridiculous. When you're acting like a desperate goddamn idiot. So anyway, let's get into the next thing. Number six, fans that use wrestling words in real life. Ugh. I can't stand this. Um, this also goes for people that talk about non WWE related topics online. But unfortunately, a lot of wrestling fans seem to think that wrestling is revolved around them. That even means politics and YouTube subjects and pretty much anything non WWE related. Wrestling fans will use the word, oh, you're a jobber, you're a mark. And um, I've actually seen, actually, um, especially with the political stuff, which I'm not getting into, but I've actually seen, like, a lot of political videos where a lot of wrestling fans will go on and say, you're a jobber. And, uh, like, someone that doesn't watch WWE that's into, like, the politics talk and the debate and stuff will go, what? What the hell is a jobber? What the hell is a mark? Like... And, and a lot of wrestling fans seem to think that this, that the outside world and everything revolves around professional wrestling. It doesn't. Um, if I got, went outside into the world and said, you're a jobber, people would say, what the hell is wrong with you? What? What? And, I, and mark my words when I say this, there are actual people that will run around in like a Billy t-shirt or a, or a Dolph Ziggler t-shirt or whatever it may be and they'll go outside and they'll use wrestling lingo in real life even in bars and stuff like that and they'll have the beard and everything it's just ridiculous um not only in real life but in online situations like I've said previously um for example like uh, in YouTube topics you know I remember um I've been doing videos now in terms of what's going on YouTube with the ad monetization um, everything that's going on with uh, everything that's going on and stuff and I remember someone saying the Wall Street Journal are a bunch of jobbers and I'm like That's got nothing to do with wrestling like just stop it like can we please like Act normal can we please just act normal and stop using wrestling lingo in real life, please just stop it Number seven wrestling Facebook fans These people are just as bad as the Twitter fans. If you are not using Twitter, you are using a little thing called Facebook, which in itself is a cesspool of crap. The most unniest, unfunniest wrestling memes that you will ever see in your life will be portrayed on Facebook. People with pages that are dedicated to their own little wrestler and their own morality and their own opinions and blah 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 they will praise and, and the worst thing is if you actually disagree with any of these if you're non-threatening you say hey man just let you know i don't think you're right on that but i respect your opinion ban ban report 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 ban 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 that's what they do and it's literally the worst a lot of um my facebook friends that are on have actually been banned now because they've given their opinion on um wrestling as well which is the worst like a lot of actually i've never seen so many people getting banned on facebook in all my life and it's kind of like everyone's on the edge of their sheet the, 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 the sh their sheet their seat and they're like should i say that i don't know i think one of the neckbeards might report me if i dislike enzo amore now, also, there's been other things where the whole politics with the important people, but I'm specifically talking about wrestling fans that get so butthurt. Um, the most unfunny memes that you will ever see in your life is on a newsfeed. It just paraded on my newsfeed. That is just non-funny. Um, pages are, are just crap. They are the most ridiculous pages that I've ever seen. There are pages that are literally dedicated to wrestlers and that they will literally praise them. And if you even disagree with them once... Just once. Report, 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 report. It's, 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 it's horrible. It is, it is. Facebook, Facebook used to be kind of cool because it used to be, oh my god, there's wrestling fans on Facebook, this is cool. And then you find out that you have a few maniacs that are in, that are in Facebook. And, 
Um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of Facebook um, wrestling fans do not have a sense of humor. Where if you're joking around about a certain wrestler or whatever, they'll go, "You're wrong! You're wrong!" And it's it's like it's 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 horrible. Facebook wrestling fans are are absolutely the worst. Um, I would even put them even above, well, no, actually, because in Twitter, yeah, I think both of them are equal in their own right. They're a very, the kind, Twitter and Facebook is very different because Twitter is actually more used by, like, a younger dynamic, while Facebook is used for people that are more my age or in their 30s and stuff, but these people should know better to sum fans up. So guys, we're at the final end of this video. A bit long, I know, but there was a lot of things that I need to say about wrestling fans. And this was a video that I probably should have made two years ago. Um, it took me a long time to do this. It took actually over a week to do this because I wanted to get as much. And in fact, there's probably way more. Um, we, if, if we might maybe get 30 likes on this video, I'll probably do a part two. Um, very similar to the New Day, um, video that I did, so if we get, like, a certain amount of likes or whatever, I'll, I'll do a part two, because there's way more, but I don't want to go over the, the, the 40 minute mark, in fact, we could probably be here for one hour, um, to be honest, um, so yes, guys, um, honestly, for me, um, it's, it's, uh, wrestling fans, to me, there are some good wrestling fans, in fact, there are some good wrestling fans that donate to charity, that do very good in this community, and just like any community, whether it's the commentary community, whether it's the cook, the cookery community, whether it's the, the, the comic book community, you're always gonna have a bunch of idiots in any community, and that's what this real video is for. Um, I think one of the biggest crimes for wrestling fans is to not take shit so serious because at the end, we're really reviewing an entertainment product. Guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel, signing out.